Having worked with medical professionals the past couple of years, I'm confident to say that you, the listener, have in the past or are currently being bombarded like any other medical professional daily from financial advisors trying to persuade you to have a meeting with them. The question is, Mr. Financial Advisor, what makes you different from my existing financial advisor or from any financial advisor? What's the value that you have to offer? I'm Werner Ratten. In today's episode of Money and Medicine, I'm going to discuss what is financial advice and what a lot of people think financial advice is. A lot of people think financial advice is insurance and investments. And they are not wrong. Insurance and investments forms an integral part of what financial advice actually is. However, there's much more into financial advice than just insurance and investments. Let's pause for a moment and think about a concept of transport. By way of definition, transport is getting people from point A to point B via vehicle. But when you buy a vehicle, there's a lot of things that you have to consider. First of all, you have to consider, what is my budget? What am I prepared to spend on a vehicle? How far do I need to travel? How big does this vehicle need to be? And there are certain things that's non-negotiable. You're not going to buy a vehicle without brakes. You're not going to buy a vehicle without a steering wheel. And you're not going to buy a vehicle without airbags. Financial advice is very similar. When you meet with a financial advisor, there's much more value that needs to be offered to you. One of the concepts of financial advice is risk management. Risk management in itself is how can we help you to avoid making costly mistakes. One of those things is interest rate hikes. Another thing is budget and cash flow. Do you, need, do you have a budget framework that keeps yourself accountable and avoid unnecessary monthly expenses? Another very important concept is tax management and tax strategies. How do you avoid the amount of tax that you pay on your income? And how do you choose investment vehicles and financial solutions that's tax efficient to your specific need? Then another very important concept is financial coaching. Medical professionals, as we know, are not exposed to any financial literacy in their curriculum. What makes that very important is when you meet with a financial advisor and when you d decide to partner with a financial advisor, it's of utmost importance that that financial advisor has the skill to communicate financial concepts in a clear and simple language. We at Money and Medicine are very passionate about that. We have a podcast series that you can listen to, and we explain those terms in layman terminology. I actually want to encourage you, if you haven't done so already, please go to our website or go to our YouTube channel and listen to that content. Estate planning is also a very important value that needs to be incorporated into your financial plan. Estate planning is the concept of how do you bequeath your assets? Who do you leave your assets to if you die one day? Do you have a will and how do you draft that will? In terms of building your financial portfolio, if you are very passionate about property, how are you going to buy that property? Do you buy it in a trust or do you buy it in your personal name? Cost reduction. What alternative solutions are available to you when you implement your financial portfolio? One thing that we have to consider, and you might relate to this, is when you buy a vehicle, you're not just going to buy the first vehicle that you see. There's a lot of things that you're going to consider and look at alternative options that best address your need. So there's a lot of insurance benefits and products also available that might better suit your need. It's important that the financial advisor gives you that information to help you make an informed decision. And then lastly, it brings me to insurance and investments. Insurance and investments is not financial advice. Insurance investments is actually the solution to your specific need. Thank you for joining in. I also really want to encourage you to go have a listen to our episode on how to choose your financial advisor and what qualities your financial advisor must have. I also want to please ask you to share this video with, a, with your colleagues and friends. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel, visit us on YouTube and visit us on Instagram. Until next time, plan the plan. This episode of Money and Medicine is proudly sponsored by the PPS Health Professions Indemnity. For more information on PPS, please do go on our website.